वधृता मीना शरीरा जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे आर यू डन विद रेमेडीज आर यू टायर्ड ऑफ सींग अ थाउजेंड रेमेडी वीडियोज दिस प्लान इज हियर दैट रेमेडी दिस रेमेडी दैट रेमेडी फॉर दिस हाउस दिस लग्न दिस असेंट दिस सन साइन दिस मून साइन वेल today what i am going to tell you is a remedy which all the 7 billion people including animals birds everybody can do because this is such a remedy which will strengthen all your 10 planets <laughs> not 9 there's another planet <laughs> don't worry there are nine planets but you will know how is it 10 all right so this is such a powerful shloka this is known as dashavatara stotra and this is written by whom please write it down in the comments let me see who can first write uh, in the comments who wrote the dashavatara stotra now as you know lord vishnu he is the supreme personality of god and he has hundreds and thousands and unlimited number of avataras but especially in, in india in the vedic tradition in hinduism in sanatan dharma there are 10 avataras which are more which are discussed more prominently okay but it's not just in there are like hundreds and thousands of avataras and in some places there are 12 some there are 24 also but all the dasha avataras they represent one one planet okay i'll come to 10 who is the 10th i'll tell you <laughs> which means uh, every particular planet is controlled by a particular vishnu avatar and i'm sure you know who controls what right so there are devatas you know there is then there is pratyadi devata there is vishnu avatar so every planet has different deities and the vishnu avataras are the highest of all the evolved deities uh, for that particular planet okay now what does this mean this means if you worship the particular vishnu avatar for for a planet then you get freedom from all the desires related to that planet and all the tamas is gone and only the good qualities remain in you okay so the great personality uh, should i tell it have you already written it don't cheat please write it down because i am going to reveal the name now so the great personality the great sage jaydev goswami the great jaydev goswami has written this beautiful dashavatara stotra you will find the link in the description so this is a stotra that contains the glorification of all the dashavataras okay 10 incarnations now the problem with the word incarnation is that it does it is not the best fit for the word avatar because the word reincarnation means reincarna which means coming back to flesh reincarnation works for humans and animals and birds because we keep changing bodies right but reincarnation is not the best word that we use for the word avatar of vishnu because now as krishna says in the gita na i never take a material form right my form is completely spiritual <clears throat> so an avatar cannot come into flesh okay that's not correct but it's like making the best use of a bad bargain so to explain people the word avatar was related with in reincarnation or incarnation okay so <clears throat> therefore if you feel that you are not able to harmonize with any energy of a particular planet or maybe even many planets then if you sing this stotra what is happening is you are invoking the power of the vishnu avataras and if you recite this daily then all the nine planets 10 actually <laughs> <clears throat> they are getting strengthened okay now what happens when you do this then you will be able to you will be able to become your best version because all the vishnu avataras who signify a particular planet you will get blessed by them now disclaimer chanting this daily reciting this daily will not uh, make you a millionaire or it will not give you a marriage if it is not there in your destiny nor it will give you a children nor it will give you great health well then the question is if you don't get any benefits externally why should you chant this because uh, when you chant this what will happen is 
uh, you will get uh, the power to absorb the negativity and also you will be able to see see through what is playing out in your life apart from the external okay because externals are very superficial sometimes things are very good sometimes things are terrible things are great sometimes they are average okay so chanting this uh, stotram uh, this uh, stotra every day will empower you in such a way that you will be able to go beyond the externals and even if things are good or great you won't be too much elated or you won't be too much pessimistic if things collapse okay so therefore please at least once a week this is a humble request please chant this stotram every day you can sing this okay <clears throat> So now, I have given the link in the description section. You can go and see the Dashavatar Stotra. There is, in this link, you will find all the paragraphs, the shlokas, and you will see uh, the translation also. So this is, a, uh, this is a Stotra where one particular line is repeating always, okay? Like in the first paragraph, the third line. So if you see this, uh, the first 11 paragraphs, the third line is always repeating in a similar way with a different name. Okay, let me give you an example. I won't sing the entire stotra, but if I see the third line of the first para, it says, Keshava Dhrita Meena Sharira Jaya Jagadisha Hare. Okay, then the second para, third line is again similar. Keshava Dhrita Puruma Sharira Jaya Jagadisha Hare. Then third, third paragraph, third line, Keshava Dhrita Sukara Rupa. Jaya Jagadisha Hare. Okay. So like that, till the ninth, uh, till the 11th para, you will have, uh, <clears throat> you will have uh, similar things. Okay. So every avatara is mentioned here, all the 10 avataras. And then at the end, you know, there is like a culmination of everything. Okay. So this, uh, this stotram is actually a glorification of Lord Krishna. Because as the Srimad Bhagavatam says, Eteh cha amsa kala pumsam, Krishna astu bhagwan swam. Krishna is not an avatar. He is the avatar. He is the source of all avatars. Contrary to what people uh, in India or uh, contrary to what Hindus believe that, you know, Vishnu, uh, Krishna is one of the Vishnu avatars. But actually, uh, actually that is not wrong, but that is not the abs absolute. So, <clears throat> therefore, you need to understand that if you chant this shloka every day, now I'll go through the translation of the verses, then you will understand what I'm saying. Then you will be immensely benefited because you will be able to act at a very higher plane. All right. So please chant this once a week. So if you go to the first paragraph, the translation, every translation is, O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe. We know who Keshava is. Keshava is Krishna himself. O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, the first uh, paragraph. O Lord Hari, you have assumed the form of a fish. All glories to you. You easily, you easily acted as a boat in the form of a giant fish just to give protection to the Vedas which had become immersed in the turbulency of devastation. So this is the story of Kurma Avatar. Okay, uh, sorry, Matsya Avatar, not Kurma Avatar. And... If you know, Matsya is the uh, Matsya avatar is representative of Ketu. So that means if you have any problems uh, re related to Ketu, uh, then this mantra will, uh, this stotram will help you to uh, cleanse that energy of Ketu. Then um, the second uh, second uh, paragraph, O okay, Keshava, Lord, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, again the same. Who have assumed the form of a tortoise. All glories to you. In this incarnation as a divine tortoise, the great Mandar mountain rests upon your gigantic back as a pivot for churning the ocean of milk. From holding up the huge mountain, a large scar-like depression is put in your back, <clears throat> which has become most glorious. So this is about Kurma Avatar. Kurma Dev is the uh, avatar for Saturn. All right. So this is during the Samudra Manthan, the churning of the milk ocean, when the Devatas and the Danavas, uh, the Rakshasas, Dasuras, sorry, they you know got together to churn the milk ocean, and uh, from there, different things came out. You no. Know? Uh, so therefore, uh, from there, you know, uh, Halahal wish came out, which was. Uh, 
which Lord Shiva took it on himself. And then, you know, Lakshmi Devi came out and this Airavat and, you know, so many other things. And at the end, the nectar came out, right? Amrit. So what's written here? There's a huge scar-like depression in your back. Why? Because uh, Purma Dev was the one who was giving shelter. And then Vasuki was the snake okay, who, who was acting like a coil to churn this mountain. <clears throat> So what's written here? There's a scar-like depression in your back, which makes it very glorious. Okay. So therefore, uh, this this is uh, also going to improve your Saturn. Okay. Very 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 important. And then the third paragraph. Okay, Shiva, Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed the form of a boar. Who is this boar? All glories to you. The earth, which had become immersed in the Garboda portion at the bottom of the universe sets fixed upon the tip of your task like a spot upon the moon so this is representing varaha dev you know, who is the boar incarnation of lord vishnu <clears throat> who uh, took this form of a boar to kill the great demon hiranyaksha and rahu for rahu uh, varaha dev is the avatar okay so again rahu so how many plants we had rahu ketu saturn Three malefics done and dusted. <clears throat> Number four. O Keshava, Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed the form of half man, half lion. <laughs> Jai Narasimha Dev. So this is about Narasimha Dev who uh, appeared to deliver and rip off the intestines of the great demon Hiranya Kashyapu who tormented his great son, the, uh, who is one of the twelve Mahajans, who is non different from Prahlad Maharaj himself. <laughs> All glories to you, just as one can easily crush a wasp between one's fingernails. Mm -hmm. So in the same way, the bodily, the body of the wasp-like demon Hiranyakashapu has been ripped apart by the powerful pointed nails on your beautiful lotus hands. Hiranyakashapu was delivered by Bhagavan Narsimha and this is the glorification, all right? So the the third third paragraph goes like this. <clears throat> Number four, four sorry. Keshava Dhrita Narahari Rupa Jaya Jagadisha Hari. Okay. Number five. O Keshava, Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed the form of a dwarf like Brahmin, Brahmana, all glories to you, O wonderful dwarf, by your massive steps you have you deceive King Bali and by the Ganges water. That has emanated from the nails of your lotus feet. You deliver all living beings within this world. <laughs> right? So, what I forgot to say was for Narsimha, it is uh, for Mangal, it is Narsimha Dev basically. All right? So, now uh, this is number five. This is Vaman Dev, who is the avatar for Jupiter. So, Vaman Dev came and took three steps uh, from Bali Maharaj and then he measured the earthly planetary system and the higher planetary systems and all the lower planetary systems and then bali maharaj was uh, granted to be the next indra in the next uh, manvantar and he got the sutala planet which was which is even more opulent than swarga where indra resides this was the second benediction and the third benediction that he got was vamandev said i'll personally be the doorkeeper of your sutala <coughs> So therefore, if you have any problem with your Jupiter, don't forget to chant this. Number six, O Keshava, Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, you have assumed the form of Bhrigupati, Parshuram. All glories to you. At Kurukshetra, you bathe the earth in the rivers of blood from the bodies of demoniac Kshatriyas that you have slain. The sins of the world are washed away by you and because of people... Because of you, people are relieved from the blazing fire of material existence. So this is referring to Parshuram, who is the, who is for the planet Venus, and for Venus, uh, sometimes uh, they don't worship Parshuram. They also worship Rishikesh, who is another form of Krishna only, because Venus represents the senses. Because the Tor zodiac sign Taurus represents all our senses. Okay, <coughs> so. Krishna is Rishikesh, which means he is the controller of all the senses. So therefore, 
if you have problems in like you know controlling your senses your senses are going here there right which is true for most of us at least for me i don't know about you <laughs> we should worship parshuram or we should worship rishikesh okay but nonetheless you can chant the shloka <clears throat> The number seven, O Keshava, Lord, O Lord of the universe, O Lord Hari, you have assumed the form of Ramachandra, Prabhu Ram. All glories to you. In the battle of Lanka, you destroy the ten-headed demon Ravan and distribute his heads as a delightful offering to the presiding deities of ten directions. Headed by Indra, this action was long desired by all of them who were much harassed by this monster. So, Lord Ram, Ramayan, son, the planet sun, I don't think I need to speak much on this. <laughs> Number eight, O Keshava, Lord of the universe, O Lord Hari, you have assumed the form of Balram, the wielder of the plow, Haldhar, okay, he has the plow. All glories to you, on your brilliant white body, you wear garments, the color of a fresh blue rain cloud. These garments are colored like the beautiful dark hue of the Yamuna river who feels great fear <clears throat> due to the striking of your plowshare. <laughs> so Balramji is referring to the ascendant. Okay, because Balramji is the Adi Guru. He gives you the strength to, to do anything in your spiritual life. So he's referring to the ascendant. So he's the 10th character in this. 9 planets and the ascendant because we have 10 nakshatras. So we have 9 planets in nine nakshatras, we could, we don't need to have nine nakshatras. We, you can have two, three planet, uh, planets in one nakshatra you know, and another two in one. But if all planets are in different nakshatras, you can have nine. And if your ascendant also has a nakshatra, right? So therefore, <coughs> ten nakshatras in total. Then, number nine. O Keshava, Lord of the universe. O Lord Hari, we have assumed the form of Buddha. All glories to you. O Buddha of compassionate heart, you decry the slaughtering of poor animals performed according to the rules of the Vedic sacrifice. So this is referring to Buddha himself. All right. And Buddha is for Mercury. Don't forget that. Number 10. O Keshava, Lord of the universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed the form of Kalki, all glories to you. You appear like a comet and carry a terrifying sword for bringing out the annihilation of the wicked barbarian men at the end of Kali Yuga. All right, so Kalki is one of the avatars who is about to come. <clears throat> Sometimes people also take Kalki for the ascendant, but in general, it is one of the avatars who is supposed to come. <clears throat> Number 11, O Keshava, Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed these 10 different form incarnations, all glories to you. O readers, please hear the rim of the poet Jayadev, which is most excellent, an awarder of happiness, bestower of auspiciousness, and is the best thing in the dark world. Now you may be wondering where is moon? Well, <laughs> moon is moon is signified by Krishna, and this entire sloka is a, um, the stotram is glorification of Lord Krishna. Okay, that is why it says Keshava Dhrita Mina Sharira. Okay, so every way, a, a, the third line of every paragraph is the same. So you are non-different from Keshava himself. These ten avatars, right? <clears throat> And the last para is, O oh Lord Krishna, now here Krishna comes, okay. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you, who appear in forms of these ten incarnations. In the form of Matsya, you rescue the Vedas, and as Kurma, you bear the Mandal mountain at your back during Samudra Mantham. As Varaha, you lift the earth with your task, tusk. And in the form of Narsimha, you tear open the chest of Daitya Hiranya Kashyapu. Mangal, in the form of Vamana, you trick the Daitya king Bali by asking him for only three steps of land and then you take away the whole universe from him by expanding your steps. <clears throat> as Parshuram, you slay all the wicked Kshatriyas and as Ramachandra, you conquer the Rakshasa king Ravan. In the form of Balram, you carry a plow which, with which you can subdue the wicked and draw <clears throat> toward you the river Yamuna. As Lord Buddha, you show compassion towards all living beings uh, suffering in this world. And at the end of Kali Yuga, you appear as Kalki to bewilder the Malachas, low-class degraded men. All right. So, here ends the great Dashavatara Stotra. 
So if you want to strengthen all your 10 planets <laughs> and you want to become your best version, please chant this, go to the link and don't miss it. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and please share this with somebody who you think should be knowing how to increase the energy of the planets and not just run from one remedy to the other, okay? God is there with you all the time. You will find him in every shloka, every verse, every word, every syllable of this Dashavata, Stotra. So you will surely find him there. All right. Take care. And for personalized consultations, you can go to my website down. Thank you very much.